Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Guys, this is our weekly message from your person. For anyone that's new or not familiar with the reading, it's not a tarot reading. I use my message decks to give your person a chance to give you a message. I just simply follow the energy on the decks to know which cards to pull from. Uh, I will do our oracle cards uh, that will help us understand what's compelling the message and what's motivating your person to give you the message. I hope it also gives you confirmation of who's coming forward for you. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign positions. Your moon, Venus, or rising may resonate. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can always check that one out. See if I pick up your energy there. Let's see who's coming forward for my Aquarius and what is compelling the message. What is the energy? What's going on with them? It's my Aquarius, their person. Ooh, we're going to get two right off the bat. We take them. Yes, we will, y'all. What's that first one? Oh, we've got somebody wanting to fit in. Uh, this card is an indication that we're a little self-conscious about our appearance. We want to fit in. We want to look good. Put, a, put you know, put forward that good impression uh, for other people, so they will like us. And then we, oh, this is a card about nurturing, loving somebody while they're going through a healing process. She's actually uh, showing some. Love and affection, tenderness to a little bird that has a broken wing. So, wow. <laughs> Somebody is self-conscious. They're wanting to look good. And they might be you. <laughs> I ain't saying it going a little bit overboard on uh, giving somebody time and attention. I am using our Halloween tarot this week, guys, instead of the oracles to help us tap into more of the energy. It's for my Aquarius, their person. Mm. Ooh, that that just felt wrong, y'all. But it's it's what I'm hearing is putting on an act that they care so much, an appearance to try to impress someone. Let's find out. We uh, <laughs> oh, we've got a seven of bats. That's a seven of swords. You know, that's about sneak, sneaking, thievery stuff like that. It's deception, a card of deception. And then we have a two of ghosts. Ooh, that's two cups. Uh, let's keep going here. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Clarify the two of cups for me. Two of cups, you know, is about compromises and sacrifices that we're willing to make to keep a balanced flow of energy. Oh, three of bats. Somebody's trying to make up. Somebody's trying to make up uh, for heartache, heartbreak. Uh, three of swords. The bats are swords in our Halloween. So somebody is definitely trying to imp impress. Uh, I'm not quite sure if their their higher self is saying they're being phony about it and putting on the image, or if they're trying to actually heart heartfelt, trying to make changes in what uh, their behavior. Of let me show I care more. Because they're trying to make up for a heartbreak. That I'm willing to make compromises and sacrifices. I'm willing to fight. But we did get the deception card. Ow. That's about theory. Um, you know. Sneaking. Sneaking around. Stealing from someone. The flip side of the energy is you taking back what's been taken from you. So Yeah. Use your intuition and how that's going to feel. Let's see what deck your person wants to start with. This is for my Aquarius. Their person. Oh, they are starting off in the shadow energy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It's for my Aquarius. Their person. Whatever they're wanting to say. Whatever they're wanting to say. Aquarius's person. Hmm. Hold the energy. Let's see what we're getting. Because y'all know I just heard this energy could be flipped. That is, this person could actually be thinking you're putting on an act uh, like you care when you really don't. Ooh, that, that's... Mm, okay. Okay, let's see what we're starting with. I've been so hurt in the past. I've been so hurt in the past. Can we start over? 
your words still linger. Please trust me. Let's see what else. Is there anything else in this deck? Yes, there is. And they're flying out. Let's do a last shuffle and get it all out now, please. It's for my Aquarius, their person. Last shuffle on the deck. Let it come out now if it needs to come out. Anything else? Nope. Hold the energy on the deck. See what we got here. What was this one, y'all? Stand up right in that box. <laughs> I'm creating a more stable foundation. Mm -hmm. Making some changes. I'm afraid I made a mess of things. I made a mess of things. I'm not ready for us yet. Mm -hmm. There's still time for us, though. Mm -hmm. I'm having trouble forgiving myself. Forgiving myself. So, yeah, this is your person more than likely, guys. Your person's higher self admitting they are trying to make some changes. Let's put the past behind us. Put the past behind us. Let's see where the energy's going now. It's for my Aquarius. We're still in shadow energy. We're getting the butterflies. It's okay. Y'all know shadow messages are ego fear based messages. Continuing the conversation, please, for my Aquarius, their person. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, hang on, guys. There we go. Anything else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold the energy on the deck. I need to do what's right for me. I watch you from a distance. I should have treated you better. Can we start over? Can we start over? I don't feel like you really see me. Or that they have expressed their true self. I screwed up. I screwed up. Anything else? Last up on this deck. Let it come out now, please. It needs to come out. Is there anything else? Yep. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what we've got. I've been lying to myself and you. Ooh. Please listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to trust that we will be together. I know I was wrong. I want a new beginning. I want a new beginning. Let's see where energy's going now. It's for my Aquarius, their person. Ooh, getting, they're still in shadows. They're still in shadows. It's okay. Crazy person. Whatever you need to say. Let's do one shuffle on this deck. Let's get it all out because it's a small one. Get it all out now. A crazy person. Anything else? Yeah. Anything else? Okay, hold the energy on that deck. What did we get? The timing just wasn't right for us. I became obsessed with you and it scared me. I'm hearing it in present tense. Mind games, mind games. I probably played mind games and karma. <laughs> I'm reaping my karma. Uh oh. Come find me. Come find me. I can't be who and what you want me to be. Oh. I don't mean to be so selfish. I'm not running from you. I'm running from my life and myself. Oh, man. Hey, my Aquarius, let's go ahead and ask your person to pick a deck for final messages. They're closing messages. What do they want to use? Ooh, okay. Conversation with counterparts. We, we are switched over to the light side of the message deck. Smart Aquarius, final messages, please. Final messages, closing messages. 
close your message, final message. What do I say? What do you want to say? Hang on, got quite a few standing up here. Oh, was it by? Not that one. It's this one. And then this one. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Please accept me as I am in this moment. There's so much I wish I could say. I'm ready to take this leap of faith. I wished for you. I'm healing old traumas. My life is better with you. I want you in my arms again. My heart is guarded at the moment. You're my greatest adventure. Ooh. You're so beautiful. I love you. I dream of kissing you. You've expanded my happiness. Oh, what I define as happiness. I don't understand how I could fall so fast. Last one. I love you so much. It hurts. Oh. Okay, my Aquarius. That's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.